Hey guys, this is Captain Frugal reporting for duty, and today we're going to do another episode of Cover Battle. I know you're probably sick of all the voting and everything by now, but I think this is good for us. You know, we need to be able to share our differences and not hate each other for it. And it's one of the reasons I love Cover Battle, formerly Comic or Cover Prawn, or Comic Prawn, if you will, is that we get to ex explain why we like what we like and share that and it's okay it's a community builder I, the more you guys get involved the more fun these are so what we're going to do today is assume you went to a retro video game store you don't know anything really about the super nintendo games but you want to buy some to start beefing up a super nintendo collection but you only have enough money to buy one game we're going to look at three different games and based on the cover alone which one would you pick i'm going to share my thoughts of which one i would get and I hope that you would share yours as well in the comments below. And then share why you chose that game. Ultimately, this is just for fun. Gotta remember, take out of your brain anything you can about these games. Focus on the cover alone. And the first one I want to talk about, I'm going to put up a digital picture so we don't get the as much glare, is Justice League Task Force. Justice League Task Force is a competitive fighting game. So if you like games like Street Fighter, to, you probably would like this as well. It's produced by Sunsoft and distributed by Acclaim for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It was also developed for the Genesis, but the Super NES version was co-developed by Blizzard Entertainment and the Genesis version was co-developed by Condor. So once again, 1995, we have Justice League Task Force. And as you can see by the cover, you're gonna have Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Flash, Batman, Superman, Green Arrow, and there's gonna even be more. So I mean, how cool could it be fighting as superheroes? Now, I know this game takes a little bit of heat, gets a lot of mixed thoughts. I actually really enjoyed this game. I put a lot of time in this fighter over the years, and it's one of those I think you just have to learn to do none other than get good. Now speaking about fighters, let's go to another fight game. This one's also a bit controversial, but I love this game, and I still do to this day, and it's Clay Fighter for the SNES. Clay Fighter is a fighting game. Once again, if you like games like Street Fighter 2, you're probably going to like this as well. It was released for Super Nintendo in November of 1993. It was later ported, once again, to the Sega Mega Drive, or Genesis, if you will, in 1994, which is common for this time for these games to be ported to multiple consoles, and each one always has slight differences, whether it be graphics, sound, characters, backgrounds. So I'm not picking saying, hey, which one for this or Genesis? Today we're sticking to just covers the Super Nintendo. This game, and what, this is what I really like, it's a parody of Street Fighter. Now, it's, in my opinion, a pretty good fighting game. Sure, it's not as good as Street Fighter 2, if you will, but the characters in it is really what makes it stand out. It has a claymation style, and you can tell that right by the cover that it's a claymation style, and you've got goofy characters. It's really more focused on humor. And for that reason, I really enjoyed this game. I know there's just something about playing Blue Suede Goo <laughs> that really made me enjoy playing this game. The next game I'd like to mention is none other than Captain America and the Avengers for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Now I'm going to be right up front and blunt. This game was the reason I purchased a Super Nintendo. I'm not one to buy video game consoles when they're brand new. It's just not my thing. They're too expensive and I usually wait till they're longer in line. But when this game came out in the arcade, I was so energized for it. And then when I found out we could get it at a home port, I had to get one, so I saved up and scrimped and saved and bought a brand new Super Nintendo ultimately to get this game. This is the first game I bought right with this system. Captain America Avengers is none other than an arcade style beat em up. It was developed and released by Data East in 1991. It features Marvel Comics characters none other than the Avengers. You get to play as Captain America, Iron Man, Vision, or Hawkeye. It's a side-scrolling beat em up. We also have a shmup element to it where you're gonna do shoot em ups too. And on this particular one, I believe you can have two players at a time. But the arcade, some depending on the arcade machine, was two to four. Now this game was also ported to uh, Genesis. Now I will admit this, I like the Genesis version more than I do this version of the game. This version of the game was a little bit overly challenging due to not the game's way it should be, but due to issues with the game. For example, there was flicker. When you'd hit beat the enemies, they would flicker and then you could no longer damage them. 
which puts you at a, a big disadvantage. Whereas on the Genesis, you could still keep hurting them just like in the arcade. So there was nothing more adventurous than seeing these characters pop out of the page with comic book style introductions and scenes and being able to play the Vision, Iron Man, Captain America, or Hawkeye. And I think you know which character I preferred to take. But once again, we can only base these decisions off of the covers, right? So I want you to remember, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to take these three covers, okay? We have Captain America and the Avengers. We have Clay Fighters. And we have Justice League Task Force. And based just off the cover alone, if you went to the store, I want to know which one you would choose. Now me, I tend to skew towards Captain America and the Avengers. The reason is, is I like the, the cover art style. By the way, look at this. This is Superman in the 90s style with the long hair. 95 would be that, and that's when he rocked like the mullet. Not a bad cover, okay? The Clay Fighters one just really didn't jump out to me a lot. I like the humor of it, but there's nothing otherwise to jump out to me. But I like the more realistic style of Captain America and the Avengers. And I just think the way it was laid out, it looked pretty good. I mean, we've got Cap about the latest Smackdown on Crossbones over here. I mean, it just it just really jumped out. The layout, uh, the Captain America and the Avengers on, over here is on a bit of an angle. Granted, the Super Nintendo... Game boxes I thought always had a cool, unique style to them that jumps off of the, off the, you know, off the shelf a little bit at you. But I just think this one did it for me more than any other. So once again, that's my thoughts. But what are yours? Which one would you choose if you could only get one, and why? All right, everyone. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to help and support this channel. You guys have been nothing more than amazing. A small channel like mine, you know, in a large pool, a large pond, if you will a lot of bigger channels to get any attention at all is wonderful and some of you are even helping support me on patreon because I do everything I can to keep things down and, and fun for you guys as well as I'm not a big fan of YouTube and how they handle things and policies with ad revenue so I do no no uh, no advertisements at all so I'm completely supported by you guys but once again one of the best things you can do is just comment down below and share your thoughts heck share the video and make a good conversation of this I greatly appreciate it. You are all amazing. Thank you to all the subscribers and also thank you to all the new subscribers as well. Please go ahead and hit that like, you know, and, and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, guys. Thank you. Until next time, keep it frugal.